All right, so 1.2 covers two-step equations. You can identify a two-step equation because the coefficient in front of the x is something other than 1 or the number in front of x. So the first thing we're going to do with this is I only have an x on one side of the equation. So what I see is this is the left hand side of the equation. That's where I want my variable to end up. So I'm going to go ahead and do and look at the number. Always work on getting and moving the number to the other side of the equation first. So this number is a negative 7. That means I want to add 7 to both sides. And again, you can think about this as taking this number, that negative 7, and it moves over to the other side as a positive. Alright, so now I go through and this becomes 0. I bring down my 7x and now I have that 7x is equal to on this side of the equation, my right hand side, I need to do negative 47 and subtract excuse me, negative 49, got ahead of myself, and I go ahead and add 7 to that. And that leaves me with 7x is equal to a negative 42. And again, when you're adding and subtracting integers, what's important to remember is whichever of the values has is larger, in this case the negative 49, then your answer will be negative. Now we're down to the next step, and that is where I take whatever my coefficient, the number in front of x, which in this case is 7, and I divide both sides by 7. And my final answer is I have x is equal to negative 6. It's really important that you watch your signs when you're doing equations that look like this. So I'll go ahead and put that in there. Just go ahead and type in negative 6 and submit your question and you're all set. All right, now let's go ahead and take a look at the next question that I have here, which is 18 is equal to 5x plus 3. And you'll notice again, now this is flipped. My variable is over here on uh, the right-hand side of my equation. So this time, I'm going to take this 3 which is positive, and I'm going to move it over there. And I do that by subtracting 3 from both sides of the equation. I go ahead and um, on the left-hand side, I have 18 minus 3, which gives me positive 15. You don't have to write the positive, but it does help um, by saying it because that tells you you know whether the sign is positive or negative. I take my negative 5x and bring it down. And this is a two-step equation because I just did one step, but I'm not finished yet. Now, again, on the right-hand side, what I have is I have this negative 5 being multiplied by x. So I have to divide both sides of my equation by 5. And now I'm left with negative 5 over 5 is 1x is equal to positive 15 divided by a negative 5 is equal to a uh, negative 3. When you're multiplying and dividing, if the signs are different, then the answer is negative. And the signs are different here. One of them is positive and one is negative. Now, even though this is written this way, I know by the properties that x also is equal to negative 3 and that's what we're going to go ahead and put in for our solution. So just type in negative 3 and submit your question.